In this video, I'm in Dudley in the West Midlands. I'm collecting Myrtle. Doesn't she look nice? Let's have a look at what has been done since I left her here several months ago. So she's looking far better than um, I anticipated, I think. Various areas have been repainted, but the main issue was a rust hole in the panel here that has gone and the backs of both sills were getting quite crispy. In fact, if we come around the other side, we've kindly been given a section of sill just to see what it was like on the inside. So definitely um, on the um, crusty side, I would say. So that's a section that's been cut out. I can keep that for posterity. Um, it is now gone. So this wheel arch was okay. It's just the sill. So um, Adam here at DFTR, where they um, spend much of their time welding up Mazda MX-5s variously. Um, he actually used an MX-5 panel to get some of this shape uh, to um, do the repair. And uh, then they farm out the welding work, sorry, the painting work elsewhere. And she's looking splendid. There was a blob here where paint had come off the door. That's been dealt with. There were some marks. I don't know what was causing the marks on the front bumper here. That you've been dealt with. And um, one of the lads here has even buffed up the headlamps. There's tire dressing on, the plastics have been done. She's looking like an entirely new car. Looking like the car I bought new in 1999 in Soli Hall, just the other side of Birmingham from here. So yeah, I'm really pleased. I'm starting to think maybe she should be the steed for Festival of the Unexceptional this year. But it's highlighting there's still work to do. Look, I've got a dent here. Oh, they, they, there's their contact details. I'll put that sticker on just now. So I'm going to have to deal with this at some point now, I think. The wheel trim's looking scabby. Uh, a hub nutter has some trims that they saved from a scrapyard for me. And uh, this number plate is delaminating a bit. So I'll need to try and get a like for like number plate made up. But yeah, I, I'm absolutely overjoyed. It looks really good work. It's uh, the bill, £600, um, which uh, is not much at all for the work that has been carried out. I'm really pleased with it. Let's just take a moment to look at some of the work. These are photos Adam took along the way. So this is that rust hole on the um, wheel arch. It had gone through both layers. So Adam carefully cut out the rotten section um, on both the inner and the outer part. Uh, welded up the inner part first of all and uh, gave that a coat of um, paint or zinc primer and then did the outer. And to make it um, pretty much a, a seamless repair. You can't see anything there now. It's a very, very good work. And this is one of the sills. This is the back of the driver's side sill. You may remember I just tried to bodge these up a couple of years ago. I always knew that was only a temporary fix. And uh, again, there was a bit of rot on the inner. So Adam had to do a bit of repair work here before he could then um, uh, clean this up. So he's just cut all of the rot out, ready to start repairing this inner form of the sill and there we go all, all done on the inside looks lovely i'm glad he took these photos otherwise you'd never see it and then there's the finished sill and uh same again on the other side so thank you very much adam it's lovely work um but uh we need to get back to wales we need to leave the lads here to do their work to weld up mx5s and i need to have my first drive of myrtle in months so let's uh Take her back to Wales. Here we go then. This is such a silly little car and I love it very much. There's some other work they did as well. While Adam was under there, he discovered that one of the fuel tank straps had completely rotted out. So he replaced that. He just fabricated one and did it. So that's good. So Myrtle has 93,700 miles on the clock now and uh, almost no petrol it seems. I'd better go and find some of that, that might become a priority. Oh, get me out of this hell hole. I am a lad of the West Midlands, I grew up here, but uh, there is a reason I don't live here anymore. Which lane am I meant to be in? This one, I think. Roads are just so busy and I'm really regretting not going for the posh SE Plus with aircon at the moment because you could get a Matiz with air conditioning. Right, just refueled. Uh, we should push on and hopefully find some motorway. That's a bit better. We're on the M54 heading back towards Wales. Traffic level is already quietening down somewhat. Uh, 
That's a bit more like it. Oh, look over Futura. One of my favorite coaches, albeit that was a later one, probably in the VDL era. But yes, I just feel my shoulders relax as I drive back to Wales, even when I'm doing it aboard uh, a Dayuma Tiz, which is hardly known for being perfect for long distance work. But that brings me to an interesting point. I drove to Dudley this morning in a PT Cruiser, had an absolutely horrible time. I didn't enjoy it at all. Uh, which you'll probably see in a future video. I think this will come out first. Um, but by comparison, yes, this is terrible. The ride isn't as good as the PT Cruiser. Uh, the seat comfort is not as good. But uh, yeah, I guess as humans are suckers for looks. Because this car looks so cute, I let it off these deficiencies. Also, it's a very different sort of a car. This is a city car, but I'm blatantly using incorrectly because I'm nowhere near a city. It's actually rubbish as a city car, this car. Uh, it can be quite shunty at low speeds. That poor ride over you know, the dreadful state of um, British city roads, it's not comfortable. So uh, it's actually better out on the open road, which is a bit weird for a city car. So in some ways, the Matiz is an utter failure, but I like it very much. Yes. It really is good to be back in Wales. Uh, it's getting busy. It is actually rush hour. Look, look at all the traffic. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm just so pleased. She looks so good. If Hubnut exists for anything, it's to save cars like this. Uh, deeply unloved, but uh, not by me. I think she's absolutely splendid. I'm looking forward to taking her on many more adventures. Maybe even Festival of the Unexceptional. Let's see how that goes. Anyway, thank you ever so much for watching. Um, don't forget you can head to the Hubnut store where you'll find support options and uh, also you can buy stuff or donate if you don't actually want any stuff. And uh, yeah, thank you. See you in a future video. Farewell.